I had a friend, uh, she, her name was Shirley, and she came to me in Wisconsin one time and she said, I, I have to talk with you. She said she was an expert in hypnosis and she achieved many things through hypnosis through her life. It was like 20 years of working with hypnosis. And, and her mind was quite open to suggested uh, therapies, things like that. So she came across A Course in Miracles and she went, oh, this is a really big book, uh, 1,200 pages. I'm just going to pick something out there that I really think is the core of it, and I'm going to hypnotize myself. So she picked out, I am not a body, I am free, I am still as God created me. She thought, that's, can't go wrong with that. I'll just hypnotize myself that I'm not a body. So she, she's a powerful mind. She, went, she goes at it with this great hypnotic mind and she hypnotizes herself every day with hypnotic affirmations. I'm not a body, I'm not a body. And, it's, and then she sees me and she says, something's gone terribly wrong, David. And I said, what's, what's happening? And she explained what she was doing. And she said, one day I woke up, I looked in the mirror and my body was gone. I, I literally, it disappeared in the mirror. I looked and I went, oh, looks like it's worked. Uh, I'm not a body with powerful hypnotic trances from somebody who really practices hypnosis. She said, I, but then it was like I was having trouble navigating time and space. And I said, what do you mean? She said, well, I was like, I was like bumping into shower glass and, and bumping into to walls and, and, and into doors and so forth. Because she was probably trying to walk through uh, doors. And, and the appearance of the body had gone from her perception, but she was getting all bruised up, she said. <laughs> it was starting to hurt her. She said, have I done something wrong here? I thought I was uh, doing the course. I said, no, the course is not telling you to hypnotize yourself, uh, that you're not a body. It's not what it's teaching. It actually says, Jesus says in there, that it's, it's actually the inappropriate use of denial to deny the body, because it's part of your experience in this world. And so if you just try to, out of the whole world, she just tried to eliminate the body, as if the body was the problem. But the body's not the problem, it's the belief in separation, it's the ego and the mind. And the more sessions that I had with her, she discovered that she had a rage against men and a rage against her, her ex-husband. It was a grievance, was the ego that was completely out of awareness that she had never dealt with. And she was just trying to use a hypnotic trance to go for like the bypass. That's the quickest way into heaven. It's hypnotize myself on not a body. So the body is just neutral. To the Holy Spirit and Jeshua, the body is neutral. Not to the untrained mind. It seems to be part of the world of duality. And it's sometimes highly charged. It's either highly valued or highly disvalued. People either try to, to harm the body when they're following the ego, or they try to glorify the body. Uh, either way, making it more than neutral in, in their awareness, and therefore, thereby reinforce their identification with the body. So you see how subtle this is. You don't want to glorify something like the body, and you don't want to, to cut it down as if it's a problem. You just want to find your purpose that Jesus has, the Holy Spirit has for you in your mind, and then the body will be used just as a, a useful symbol, uh, this communication device for the Spirit to smile through, to laugh through, to hug through, to dance through, paint through, you know, just to, to be, ex to express God's love, you know, that's a good use for the body, because it re returns your mind to wholeness, and that's what the whole purpose is, is to return to wholeness. Yes. The whole mind is what we would say in Course in Miracles terms is what forgiveness is all about. So forgiveness is not in the end a personal thing where you, know, you forgive your mother or your father or you forgive your partner or your neighbors. 
forgiveness is not like a personal thing that happens. It's more, it's a letting go of the belief that you could ever judge anything and easing back in to a state of mind where everything is unified. It's seeing that, that the idea of judgment or the idea of rejection is literally impossible. That you, in your whole mind, are unified with everything. And you cannot take a part of everything and project it out and, and give it a name and give it a, uh, an identity or a history or a meaning and expect that that will be a reality. It just isn't. So the process of judgment is a process of rejection where you are trying to reject something from your mind and say, I'm so glad that that's not me. Uh, that's, it doesn't matter whether it's an electron, a molecule, your Aunt Jane, your Uncle Fred, it doesn't matter what the thing is that's being rejected. When you can take something and say, this is not me, then you have identified yourself with an illusion. So actually what forgiveness is about, it, it's really about integration. It's about starting to realize that there is nothing that exists apart from the whole mind. That you cannot take a part out of the whole. Even though we've been taught things like the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. The Holy Spirit will show you that the whole is real and the parts are not. Uh, because it's impossible to do that. So that dynamic is where the threat is to the ego. The ego doesn't mind if your earthly conditions seem to improve. Let's say you take a lot of self-help classes mm -hmm. and you're poor and from the ego's perspective and then you work really hard and you become very rich and the ego is like a spider sit sitting back going, very good, you've shifted from the illusion of of poverty to the illusion of abundance and you may even feel better about that but the ego is still in charge because poverty and abundance in those terms are still part of its playing field and you simply marched on the playing field a little bit further which is quite content with as long as you don't leave the playing field because it feels like it must exist. And if you would leave the playing field, then you would pull the plug on it. 